Yes. I know. Yeah, as it is right now, I am hardly here. So if it would take staying apart for a few years, then I'm ready for it because there's nothing I am looking forward to in this marriage. Yes, I, I will just have this conversation with her tomorrow morning and then I will leave within the week. I am sure. Yes, I am sure and I'm ready for this. Let's do it. Okay. Alright, good night. I'll keep you updated. Hello, sweetheart. Good evening, Mom. How are you? I'm okay. Has he finally returned? Mm, yes. When? This night. How long was he away this time? Three weeks. Huh. What are you planning to do about this? At this point, Mom, there's nothing left to do. I'm done. Then why is it taking you forever to start this process? Mom, it's not particularly easy for me. I mean, I never knew that Dan would change and become this guy. I'm still in shock. The same way your father shocked me. I'm happy I left him. I have accomplished so much focusing on myself. And that can happen for you if you would listen to me and get this thing started immediately. Okay, I'm listening. Have you spoken to Cindy about this? I have. But I haven't told her the full details yet. Keep it that way. You know how she can be. <laughs> I cannot keep that kind of secret away from her. I mean, she's coming into town because... Her office sent her to work on a project for them. So she will be staying with you? I hope so. I mean, it's been a while I've seen her. When she gets there, let me know. I will speak with her because nobody should discourage you. Mom, at this point, no one can even change my mind. I'm done. This is not marriage. Knowing her very well, she will try. So call me when she arrives. I have to go now, okay? All right. Good night, Mom. All right, darling. Good night. to talk. I'm all ears. A proper conversation. I'll be in the living room and this has to happen now. I'm coming.
Why on earth are you keeping me waiting? Huh? You saw someone cooking. You just came commanding me to come and leave the cooking, right? And come and answer you. So telling me that you were coming was just you dismissing me? Well, I figured I'd tell you what you want to hear. Instead of me saying actually what I want to say. Just to cut fights. Huh? So, I will only attend to you when I'm done cooking the meal. Because everything must happen at your pace and time, isn't it? No. Because I am tired of you going up and down, pacing and dissing out orders. Look, you didn't even ask me if I could talk, or if I wanted to talk, or if I was done doing what I was doing. At least you saw me doing something, right? Did you not? Why didn't you tell me that you needed to finish what you were doing? Why? Because somebody said I should not see my mind. And you're not blind. I don't need you to tell you that I need to finish what I'm doing. You know what? I am happy that this is the last time I will ever have this kind of conversation with you. You know why? Because I'm tired. I'm tired! And I've had enough of your toxicity. Same here. I will give everything to stay clear of your obnoxious behavior. In a few days, I'll be leaving this house. And the next time you hear from me, we'll be ending this thing we call marriage legally. Whatever you're ready, I'll be waiting. Baby Alpha. What's up? So, I've gotten the contact of the divorce lawyer. When would you like to see him? Tomorrow morning. Um, you are really ready to end this stuff? Please, I don't have time to waste. <laughs> Which means she can actually join us tonight at the club? Babe, come on. It's Friday. I don't know. Come on, come on. Tracy, you are about to become single. This is the time to step out of the house and start to dip your toes in the water again. But the fact that this marriage didn't succeed with Dan does not mean it will not succeed with some other guy. And you will not find that new person stuck in that house. Fine. Send the address. Yes! Yes! Baby! Sending the address right away. See you. Hmm. Life is for the living. Where are you coming from? Some place. Do you realize there is still some resemblance of marriage here for you to respect? One that both you and I know does not exist. Now listen to me, Tracy. The next time you sleep outside this house, you see the side of me that you've never seen before. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> like, <laughs> coming from someone that sleeps outside of his house for weeks without informing me, yet you think you have the moral justification to tell me not to sleep outside because I slept one night outside of his house. So my work trip is the reason you're dressing like this in and out of this house. And who told you I'm not coming from a work meeting? What's wrong with how I'm dressed? Do you realize people still consider me your husband? Huh? Of course, and I'm supposed to care. Now listen to me, Tracy. Until when all this is over. I need you to respect yourself. I encourage you to do the same. <sighs> oh. 
hello uh, good morning um i'm sorry i'm calling this early please how does infidelity help my case because i just saw my wife walking after obviously spending the night wherever she's coming from dressed like a slut Yes, 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 I, I, I can find the evidence. In fact, I am eager to find the evidence. Yes. Okay, I, I can meet up in the next few hours. Okay, I, I'll see you soon. Thank you. That's why I didn't call him myself. Yeah, um, I think our conversation got mixed up somehow. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let me get you food ready. Okay, okay thank you. Big <laughs> brother! Good to see you. How's the work? Fine, work is fine. In fact, um, the office sent me here for an extensive market research. Wow, you guys are expanding down here. Yes, we are. That's really good. How did you choose it to Lady Gaga? Yes, they did. <laughs> I'm so excited. That's awesome. You are climbing this corporate ladder really fast, and I'm proud of you. Thank you so much, bro. Um, please, after eating, I'll come to you for your help. You know, I need your guidance for this stuff because I don't know this town as much as you do. Of course. Yeah. It's okay. I'll be here for you, all right? Thank you. That's good. Yeah, I missed you most. I've been so hot. Not so hot. Come in. Come in. Hey, sis. Hey, so you can come to the dining. Ooh, food is ready. Okay, <laughs> um, I will just go ahead and send this email later. Don't tell me you've started working already. Oh, no, no, no. I just went to inform my boss that I've arrived, but I'll do this later. I am hungry. <laughs> Foodie, foodie. Sis, I hope you served your own food so we can gossip while we eat together. You see, I'm strange. Anyway, I'm not here hungry. Oh. However, when you're done eating, you can come to my bedroom so that we can talk oh. since then it's back. Are we talking about something we don't want him to get? Of course. Okay, okay. I'm right behind you. All right. <laughs> Come in. Just sit here. Don't tell me you're done with your food. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so you abandoned your food for a little gossip? Mm hmm. I mean, Gossip used to be a thing before. <laughs> Hoss made it so hard for us to even talk on phone as often as we should. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Sis. Huh? Why is that in a different room? I saw him going in and out of the other room. Are you guys having issues? I told you. Well, you told me you've been arguing a lot. More like screaming at each other. 
Well, it's normal. Couples have issues. We just work on it. Cindy, I didn't tell you how bad that's gotten to. It doesn't matter. You We're getting a divorce. What? Cindy, I know how happy you are for us and how much you want us to be happy to succeed. I know you see Dan as your big brother, but I cannot longer stay married to that man. But you love each other. Not anymore. How do you stop loving someone you love so much? Maybe you should ask him. You know how much Dan was all over me. How he never gave me breathing space. He kept pushing and pushing and pushing for us to get married. Because he loved me so much. But I don't know, like, a few months down the line, after we got married, things changed. So maybe you should ask him. I'm back seeing you. <sighs> All I feel is anger, pain, bitterness. I no longer love Dan anymore. And it's not just me. We bought one out. How did he get here? I can't explain it. Is mom away? Yes. I'm sure she's encouraging you to get divorced. She is, and I'm happy she is. Why would you be happy she's supporting you? Cindy, listen. She left Dad. Dad wasn't easy to deal with. Tell me, what exactly did he do to her? Look, Cindy, I'm not, I don't want, I'm not in the mood to talk about mom and dad oh, right now. Oh, but you're in the mood to take advice from her? She's her mother. That easily walked out on her marriage. Even if she's right about everything in the world, she's wrong about what she did to dad. She did what she thought was best for her at the time. She lost all right to be selfish and think about only herself the moment she agreed to marry him and give birth to us. You don't just wake up one morning and walk away from things that are important to you. So, you'd have expected her to remain unhappy there? Is that what you want? Tracy, if we keep walking away from people and situations whenever we feel unhappy, we're working for the rest of our lives. Sometimes even the most beautiful things don't seem as beautiful. Cindy, I get that you're a fighter. No, Tracy, if something is important to you, if something is valuable, you fight for it. You don't just walk away, you don't give up. You don't chicken out like mom. Cindy, do you know how much I worked so hard? I worked hard in maintaining this marriage, do you? It looked one-sided. Whatever is happening right now is not my fault. You know how much I love Dan. Well, I guess you've done everything there is to do. Cindy. Cindy, don't be... Hey, Cindy. How you doing? Cindy. Are you, are you okay? When are you finalizing the divorce? Oh, I, I see that your sister has spoken to you. When? Divorce takes time. And we just started the process. We'll be separated very soon. How soon? Come on, Cindy. Look, I just need to know how to go about getting a place to stay. A place to stay? Oh, come on, Cindy. This is my house. You can stay as long as you want. And your sister is staying too. I am the one who is moving out. I will not be here two minutes after you move out. The moving out means what gives me the right to be here has come to an end. Oh, come on, don't say this. Cindy, I know we're like a family. All right? And it hurts. Why okay. would you let this happen? Don't do this, please. You told me you love my sister for life. 
You told me you'd never leave her. I am not responsible for what she's going on. So who's responsible then? You are not responsible, she's not responsible. Who is responsible? Yes. Good morning. I'm making breakfast. I'll I'll be quick. While you're eating, I we can talk. I'm sorry, I'm late for my meeting. But it's just six thirty. Yeah, I know. My meeting is for seven a.m. And Google Maps says the trip is thirty minutes. Okay. Um. See you in return. Sure. Hello, Mom. Yeah, she arrived. Uh, Mom, I'll get her to speak with you, okay? Yesterday she got upset with me. Because I told her exactly what's going on. Okay, mom, please, I need to get ready now. I'm late for work, please. All right, bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Hold on a second. Hey, Cindy. Thank you. You're welcome. Don't worry, I'll get you Spanky, okay? Thank you. Are you okay? Yes. Um, Cindy, I'd like to say something to you. I know how much you hate what is going on right now. I know you're still upset with your parent for leaving each other and now we're about doing the same thing. But I want you to know that if there was any other way of managing the situation between your sister and I, I would have considered it. So you've done everything that could have been done? Yes, I have. <coughs> Maybe you should take that. It's not a call I need right now. Okay, well, like I said, I have done everything. So I think it's time to stop crying over spilled milk. But we would always be friends, okay? If you say so. Excuse me. Hey, welcome. How was your meeting? Fine. We still have more follow-up meetings throughout the week. Hmm. Cindy, can we talk? Look, I'll be, I'll be fast. I can see you're working on something already. Fine. 
Cindy, you were with us on our first year of marriage and we were all happy. I'm also disappointed at how things have turned out right now. What is that supposed to mean? What, what is that? You know, you used to say when you get married and it doesn't work out, you will leave that man and find another one. I used to say that. That was even before we got married. It has nothing to do with anything that's happening right now. Are you sure? What do you mean, am I sure? Of course. I mean, I said those things years back based on how I felt. And that was even before I got married. That was even before I met Dan. It's not about what you said. It's the mindset. Since you already had an exit plan before you got into this marriage. Cindy, now that's unfair. That's really unfair. How will you blame me for everything that's... I'm not blaming you. I'm just saying the truth. <laughs> okay, this guy, just stop calling me. Okay, can you, for God's sake, just pick his call or whatever, whoever it is. <sighs> Hello, Patrick, can you please stop calling me? I am not interested. I've told you. I'm not ready for this. Please, stop blowing up my phone. You're frustrating my life. Okay. Who is that? It's just some guy. What does he mean? Nothing. It's nothing. Cindy, I open up to you as my sister and tell you everything that's happening in my marriage. It's unfair that you're hiding things from me. I'm not hiding anything. Please, let's just continue what we're discussing. Fine. So, I'll... I'll... Let me just get that. I'm coming. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. How may I help you? Uh, my name is Patrick, and I'm here to see Cindy. Patrick? Yes. Did he just call now? Oh yeah, I was the one that called. I was outside when I called. Come in, let me get Cindy for you. Thank you. Hey, Cindy. How dare you come here? Cindy, please just calm down. Let me explain everything to you. How did you even get this address? The embassy secretary gave it to me. <laughs> I persuaded her. I was really desperate. Please. Patrick, please, please just leave. I can't do this right now. Just leave, please. Uh, babe, please. What do you think you're doing? Cindy, <laughs> I love you with all my heart. Please, just give me one more chance and I promise I will make things right. I'll make you happy. Please. I don't want to waste any more time. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I want to start a family with you. Please, Cindy, just marry me. I can't believe you're doing this. Get up and get out! Cindy, babe, please. Babe, please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for bothering you like this. I just, I really love her so much. And I, I'm going to be here until she comes out. Um, it's okay. Well, can you please stand up? Okay. No, no, no. I'm okay. going gonna to be here until she comes out. I want to show her that I really love her. And I want her so badly. Well, you have to start by explaining who that guy is. He's my colleague and my ex. We've been together on and off, but I made it clear that I was done. Why are you on and off with him? Because he's been persistent, wanting to be with me by all means. And you don't want him? Well, I did at some point, but not anymore. Okay, so you want him at some point, you don't want him at some point, and I don't want to be in my marriage, but I'm wrong, right? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Are you comparing what is going on now with your situation? Why not? <laughs> Tracy, you and Dan swore that you were in love. You got married with so much clear, and all of a sudden you just turn your back easily on that, and you think that's comparable? Do you know how you sound right now? Very hypocritical. Yes. Really? Yes. Please tell me, how do I sound hypocritical? There is someone out there in my living room leaning down on one knee, wanting to be with you, even getting married to you. Obviously, he fell in love with you. Why are you guys in a relationship? But you don't have the same feeling, right? Mm -hmm. Now, I and Dan got married. Yes, we loved each other, but both of us don't want to be together. But it's a thing to you. Well, you promised someone forever, not me. So what's stopping you from promising forever to someone? What? 
As far as I remember, for the longest time, you avoided relationship. Oh, oh wow. So you are traumatized and scared of commitment and marriage. You're terrified. And you have the effort to judge me, Cindy? Wow. You know what? You're right. I'm sorry. I would never again give an opinion on your marriage. Yeah, all right. Success. I'm, I'm not... She may not want to come out. She will. And I'll be here waiting for her. See, I'll tell her. I'm sorry. I told you we needed space. Space? No, babe, we don't need space. I don't want anybody else but you. Cindy, to give you space is to torture myself. Babe, please, I... I love you with everything that I have and I'm willing to show you with everything that love represents. Please, I'm tired of the back and forth. Fine, let's do it. Yeah. What? what? Cindy, wait, wait, wait. No, no. Cindy, forget Cindy, what I said earlier. Cindy, Cindy, listen to me. Think about this, okay? Cindy, come on. Cindy, you don't have to go into something like this because you want to please someone. Please, Think Cindy. about it. Let's, let's go to a restaurant and celebrate this. It's, it's an amazing day. It's, a, it's so exciting. Okay, let me get my bag. I'll okay. be right back. All right. Sorry about that, but... You think this is how you get married? I love her. You love her? Yes. It takes two to tango. I know, you know right? Yes, I do. Does it look like she's as excited as you are? She will be. You know, I, I like your confidence. But this experiment of yours should have been with someone else, not my sister in law. Hey. Hey. <laughs> um. Cindy, you, you can still think about this now, okay? Hey, okay. Can we talk when you. No. Shall we? Cindy. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <sighs> this is serious. What just happened here? Is this how you get married? into all this because of me. You're making a big mistake. This is not a mistake. Cindy, what exactly is going on with you? I'm getting married. That is what is going on. Look, I understand that you're upset with mom and dad, particularly mom because she was one of our folks. Dad and I made you happy, I know, because we gave you the resemblance of a Perfect marriage, perfect family. I know you're disappointed that we're not ending up together. But what I don't get is your response. Like, why are you responding to all this by getting married? Why? I'm getting mad because Patrick is proving that he wants me more than anything. Cindy, you know very well that Dan was all over me, right? He professed love to me. Promised to be everything, far and beyond, even the height of the sky. But look at us today. We're drifting apart, we're going our separate ways. You know that Dan was following me everywhere, right? Everywhere, anywhere, before we got married. Cindy, please, don't do this. Please, don't do this. I'm moving up. 
Excuse me. Patrick likes to visit a lot, and from all indication, you and Dan will not be receptive to that. So, as long as I'm in town, we'll be getting a place. So, you just pack and up and leave, right? No. We'll be here this evening and we'll all talk about it. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you smile. It's encouraging. Yeah. Uh, well, I was up all night asking myself if this is what I really wanted. And? <laughs> Strangely, I'm really excited. I want this to work. I want us to work. It will work. We will work. Okay? I promise you. Yeah, I, I know I'm a very adventurous person, mm -hmm. but um, <laughs> this is like a first for me. But I must admit, I had my fears last night. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I've never known you to fear anything. Really? Well, I... <clears throat> hey. Good evening, Dad. Yeah. Hello, Patrick. How are you? I'm good. Are you? I'm fine. Alright, that's it. Thank you. <sighs> Patrick is here so we can all talk. I see. Good evening, Tracy. Patrick? Well, um, I want to start by saying that I understand your concerns and your fears, you know, about seeing me. Uh, it feels like we haven't really established our relationship and now we're talking about marriage. But I want to assure the both of you that she will never regret marrying you. I really hope so. I promise you that. You have my word. So what's the talk about moving in with you? Well, uh, Cindy and I were talking about things to do, you know, to not inconvenience you guys and make you uncomfortable. How are you going to make me uncomfortable in my own house? <laughs> so I'm, I'm the kind of guy who likes to visit a lot. I like to be present and Cindy knows this. So I, I don't think it's going to be a good look if I'm seen as a nuisance around here. So, you just wanted to up and pack and leave just like that and move in with you? She's my wife. She's not yet your wife. Tracy, enough. What? Dad, don't tell me it's enough. There's no conversation here. I mean, if it was a suggestion, <laughs> yes, it would have been a conversation. But they just brought it up like, oh, I have made up my mind. This is a set plan already. So what's the conversation here, right? Informing us is giving room for a proper conversation. There is no conversation here. Don't you get it, Dan? And Cindy is not going anywhere. It's not happening. She's an adult. Oh, is that what you were banking on? Her freedom and adulthood. Besides, why are you speaking for her? Are you her mouthpiece now? I can speak for myself. Oh, really, Cindy? So this was your idea too, right? That's enough. Dan, don't tell me that's enough. Don't even shush me. How can you say that's enough? Cindy here is not going anywhere. It's not happening. Tracy, it's not up to you to decide where I stay. I'm here by choice, so please tell me, what exactly do you want? That you're not moving anywhere. That I get to know this person. He's a total stranger to me. I don't know him. And besides, I do know that this relationship is forced. You can't say that. Why? The Cindy I know, my sister, will be excited. If she's in love, she would have called me, right? Did you? No. He would have called me even before the engagement. Even the day he was proposing to you and putting a ring on your finger, there was no excitement, no spark. It's like it was clearly forced. In fact, you shouldn't be wearing that ring on your finger in the first Tracy, place. Tracy, that's enough. Dan, don't tell me that's enough. Don't shush me. This is my sister for crying out loud. And she's not going anywhere. It's not happening. Tracy. Don't you ever trace me. Uh, um, I'm sorry about that. It's fine. Um, please, we'd like to, you know, take a moment to discuss privately and get back to you. 
Okay, that's fine. with two adults. But what did you do? You hijacked it and turned it into some, into some war like you always do. So you think you're the only one that can speak into this matter? Tracy, I don't care how much you justify, always trying to overshadow me. You do this in this house, you do it in public. And no matter how I try to draw your attention to it, you don't listen. Huh? We are talking to two adults who are capable of doing whatever they decide to do. You're screaming and stomping all over the place to not stop them from doing whatever they decide to do. Tracy. Same day is my younger sister. And I think I have an opinion of her. Opinion! Opinion, Tracy! That is all you have! You can't force it on them, right? The only reason we're having this conversation in the first place is because your sister respects and listens to us. That is it! If not, she would have been on her way out already. Now listen to me, Tracy. You asked me to handle this situation, right? I know you're always impatient. Right? Please. If you know you're not ready to calm down and allow me to handle this situation, please stay out of it. Okay? So, uh, we have decided that there will be no need for her to move out of this house. Um, I could come and visit from time to time. So, we don't have to quarrel about this. <laughs> wow. That's great. Um, you know what? Feel free to visit as much as you want, okay? Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, I'll, I'll be on my way now. Okay. All right, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye, Tracy. You yes, too. Okay. Mom, I'm telling you, she doesn't need to go through what I'm going through. Or what she went through. Trust me, Mom. This hard decision will lead her the same road. She must be in her room or something. Uh, now? Okay. Come in. Come in. <sighs> Mom wants to speak with you. Please, can I call her back? I need to finish this. Yes. She's already on the call. Mom, she can hear you. Hello, Cindy. Good evening, Mom. So, it has become an abomination to call me. But, Mom, I call you now. Once a month. And when I leave you missed calls, you hardly call back. I'm sorry, Mom. I've been really busy. So, I heard you got engaged. Yes. Tracy seems to be worried about this young man. Honestly, I don't know what she's worried about. Well, you're trying to prove something to me, right? Tracy, you need to stop saying that. Look, Patrick and I have been dating on and off for a while now. And our breakups are because I always disappear whenever he talks about, you know, future of our relationship. Why have you been disappearing? I don't know, Mom, but Tracy helped me realize that I need to take charge of my love life. And I did. There was no spark that day. You walked out of an argument we were having and got engaged. Sis, I don't know what spark you're looking for. 
But look, sis, Patrick and I believe marriage is meant to be an intentional commitment to each other. We are willing to do the work, take care of each other as soon as they arise, love each other in the most selfless way. And look, sis, it's not like we're deceiving ourselves, thinking that, you know, the marriage will work out magically without intentional effort. Tracy. Yes, Mom. If she wants this young man, then let her have him. I'm not trying to stop her. Then give us your support. Okay, look, sis, I know you want to get to know Patrick. You'll be coming here so you have a chance to do that. Then I think this matter is settled. So, Tracy, how about the divorce lawyer you were supposed to meet with? Have you spoken to him? Well, Mom, um, I just told him... I just want to make sure that you understand that your sister and I are not the standard. For the fact that we're about ending things does not mean the same thing will happen to you and Patrick. I understand. Thank you. And I hope um, your choice of him is the right one because everything seems a little too important. It's the right choice for me, but then. I appreciate the consent. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. All right, let me uh, allow you to continue cooking, okay? Uh, big bro, big bro. Can I ask you something, please? Okay, sure, you can. What do you think pushed you both to this point? I mean, you guys used to be so in love. When you got married. Are you sure you want us to go into this conversation? Yes, please. It will help me. Cindy, you know how much I trust your sister everywhere. How crazily I was in love with her. So you're no longer in love with her? Well, apparently, love can deem. Love can become subdued that it is barely able to express itself. Your sister has made me feel terrible about expressing my love for her the way I did. How? You know, to your sister, because I was all over her when we got married, she expects me to condone everything she does. You know, for the fact that I practically force her into this marriage by being too persuasive. You know, sometimes she say it to me all the time. She says something like, I am in this marriage because you forced me to. You heard her say it a couple of times the last time you were here. Yes, but that was as a joke. Stop being a joke to her. Expressing how much I love her shouldn't be used against me. Your sister, speak to me with so much disrespect and guess what she embarrasses me in public what yes we went for a dinner with some friends and i left there feeling like disappearing into thin air because of the way she spoke to me in the presence of my friends just look at the way she spoke to patrick she never apologizes. She never holds back whenever she's angry. For whatever reason, being her husband does not give me the right to have a vision and a future plan for us. 
this is not what I hoped for. I mean, I think I need to stop talking right now because going through all of this makes me feel some kind of way. Stuff. Why? Um, I would like to make dinner for you and the family if you don't mind. Actually, you should have asked me sure they're comfortable with it. Oh, I'm sorry. I just uh, thought about it on my way here. Patrick. Okay. Hi, Tracy. Hello. Do you want to ask her? Come on, ask I'm her. sis. Yeah. Um. Please, can Patrick cook? What? Uh, he wants to make dinner for us. He's a really great cook and he enjoys it. Sis, please. I mean, this is just his way of trying to bond with you and Dan. Well, I guess I don't have a choice now, right? I know this is not comfortable for you, but please. Thank you. I love you. I told you. You. This has been <laughs> tough your best meal ever. Oh, I am so gonna shock you. I know. <laughs> what were you Look at Let's this. go. You're gonna love it. Don't oh, worry. Right. I'm gonna make something special for really? you. Something what special. What do I do? Oh. Um, Patrick, please. Um, I can't believe everyone is about to eat the food you made. Well, I do hope that you guys love me after this meal. <laughs> I guess the pattern of friends for the sake of singing. Oh, I couldn't agree more. <laughs> okay, okay. Dinner is served. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. Oh my God, we forgot to call him back. Please, can we step out for a moment to take this? My mom has been waiting. Um, well, you, you don't have to do that. You can take the call here if you want. For real? Yeah, sure. Oh, okay. Uh, hi, Mom. Hello, Patrick. Yes, Mom. How are you, my love? I'm fine, thank you. You are supposed to have called back now. Oh, Mom, I'm so sorry. I kind of got busy. Oh, okay. Okay, it's all right. I want to talk to my beautiful daughter. Oh, okay. Hi, Mom. I'm here. So sorry we forgot to call you back. It's okay, my darling. It's okay. I hope Patrick is taking care of you. <laughs> yes, he is. Ah, he must, though. His father is still taking very good <laughs> care of me. Ah, is that my Cindy? <laughs> Dad. Hello, Daddy. <laughs> Honey, let me finish talking to them now. I love you, my darling. But no, I want to hear my daughter's voice. Hi, Daddy. Sweetheart, my darling. Yes, Daddy. <laughs> uh, Dad, please, let's call you back later, okay? We're in the middle of something before Mom's call came in. Of course, of course, later. Okay, Patrick, don't forget, to. Oh. You people should call me back. Yeah, sure, Mama, we'll forget. Uh -huh. we'll forget. All right, bye. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. Um, oh, sorry about that. <laughs> um, it's fine. Okay. I, I love how your parents are. Oh, they've been in love and married for over forty years, and still madly in love. Please, can we be like that? Of course, babe. We can be like that if we decide we want to be like that. Oh, I've decided. Uh, me too. Okay. <laughs> I love them. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> okay, now kids. let's try this. It tastes really good actually. So you're going from the fourth eh? <laughs> Look at <laughs> you. Eve. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I hope we did plan tonight with that. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Oh, I did that now. Mm. Didn't I do?
over. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, I'm ready. Just give me a moment. I'll be back. Let me uh, get my press. Okay, by the time you're done, the event will be over. <laughs> oh, stop it. I'm coming. You look good, by the way. You're gorgeous. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. Damn. Mama. Babe, you look so gorgeous. Damn. Mm, mm, mm. <sighs> Hey, Dan. Welcome. Hey, Patrick. Yeah. Ah, wow. <laughs> you look sharp. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, you guys are going somewhere? Yeah, we have a double date with some friends. Wow. <laughs> you know, I, I like the way you guys spend time together. You're lucky, man. Thank you. Okay. All right. She's an amazing girl. Yeah, she is. Where is she? Uh, she wants to get a purse, but we're okay. leaving. All right. Yeah. Have fun. Thank you. You'll be late. Then tell me what you meant. I just meant you and Patrick dress up for each other nowadays. Okay, you say that like it's a bad thing. No, no, no. It's just that you remind me of Dan and I. It used to be our thing. I remember. Sis, why can't you two just go back to that? It's too late. So many things have has happened. Too many. Too many terrible words have been said to each other. Look, the best thing for us now is just to go our separate ways and pray that we get lucky with other people. Look, you know that no matter how long you've traveled on the wrong road, you can always turn around. Not Dan and I. Okay. Look, go. I'll see you later. Okay. Fine. I'll see you. And by the way, you look beautiful. Thank you. I am telling you that if you see what I ended up doing will be initial brief, you'll be happy that I'm the one handling this project. Just, just look at what I sent you now, okay? Just look at it. Okay, let me, let me get down with it, okay? All right, okay, bye. I'll talk to you. You are making a big deal out of this. You disrespect me in front of my friends. It's not something you would trivialize. How did I disrespect you? What is going on? Wait. I'm telling you that you portray me as a person. Something that's feminine to me. How Babe, did I portray you? I think I've been making a call you. No, no, no. I'm hearing my sister's voice downstairs. Can you just stop defending what you're doing? I'm not defending anything! That's exactly what you're doing. Just stop! Can you please stop accusing me of what I did not do? So you're trying to tell me you didn't notice their reactions on the table when you said that nonsense? What? How was I supposed to do interpret what I said when they did and you get mad about it? If you don't know what upsets me, isn't the right thing to do to find out? Huh? I'm telling you that you portray me as a best is something that's feminine to me. How did I portray you as a best? Stop making up things, Patrick. You know what? It's okay. Fine! Cindy, come on. We agreed we're going to talk about whatever issues we're having before leaving the spot. You were not supposed to scream to get our points across.
Oh, so now phone is switched off. Oh, you know what? Just relax. She's fine, okay? Her number is not going through. No, it's not. It's not. She doesn't usually come home this late. Must have been traffic. So traffic switched off her phone. Her battery must have been drained Daddy. or something. Please don't heighten this situation. Hey. A oh, babe. Oh my God. I'm so sorry I got you worried. My battery drained and the traffic was mad. It's okay. At least you're back home. All right? I'll come back. You know that he thought I was supposed to get wrong and she was feeling. <laughs> like really? Like I couldn't stop laughing when he turned to you thinking you're the only one that understood him. <laughs> that guy is so silly. Silly guy. <laughs> oh my I wonder where he came from. <laughs> but I mean, how can I support him? We've been working on this market research for weeks now and he thinks he can just come and be too many stakeout shine. Ah. That's true. Jeremy shouldn't have wasted resources sending him. Man, I don't even care anymore. All I know is he should just stay out of my way. We're almost done, so let's finish. Okay. Yo, I'm, I'm starving. Me too. Like, so bad. You know what? Um, why don't you go tell them they were making dinner so we know the quantity of food we've been making? Oh, that's right. That's true. Okay, I'll be back. Okay. okay. Don't miss me. Don't miss me too much. Can I, can I, can I not miss you? <laughs> See you. Can I not miss you? <laughs> Hey, baby. Yeah. Okay, baby. So we'll start with the table mats. No. Yeah. Let me do that. Uh, yeah. Don't worry, don't worry. I've got it. I got it. All right. So you have this, yes? Yeah, I've got it. <clears throat> Oops. 
Hey, Tracy. Hi. Hi. How you doing? I'm good. Food is ready. It's just about to set up. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Are you feel done? No, why? Should be back by now. We need to come down for dinner. Let me go get some. Baby, you okay? Yeah, sure. I'm okay.
Do you want something? Um, yeah. I wanted to make stem veggies. That's what I feel like eating. I'll make that for you. Thanks. Cindy. I don't know how to say this, but... I know it's still... I mean, the way you and Patrick are reminds, <laughs> reminds me of Dan and I. The only thing is that you're handling things better.
Tracy! Tracy! What? What do you mean I can't tell you what to do? Because you can't. I am the man of this house. And I'm also the woman of this house. Look, I need to be consulted first. You cannot decide to do this or that without telling me. I will not take it. So I should consult you before I take a decision? Yes, or else I will not be part of that decision. Tracy. Tracy, I'm still talking. Tracy, come. Tracy, I'm still talking! Tracy! Tracy! Exciting day for us. We're wrapping up on the research project, and the moment we're turning our report, we'll be heading back to Abuja. Gosh, you're so beautiful. What? You're gorgeous. Um, we should be heading to work. It's going to be a long day. And afterwards? Come over so we can go through everything and make our final report. Listen, this is the only conversation that is important to me right now. I didn't get married to divorce three and a half years after. What did I do wrong? Please, Dan, don't do this. Tell me. Dan, I'm not having this conversation with you right now. You belittle me. You embarrass me publicly. I don't feel respected by you anymore. I went from drooling all over you to trying to avoid you at every possible opportunity that I have. What did I do? And you, what do you think you've done to me all these years? What do 
you think you've done? Tell me. You made nonsense of what I told you I wanted to do, wanted to be, all because it did not fit into your perfect plan for us. My contribution meant absolutely nothing to you. I had to keep defending myself. You made me angry, in pain, bitter. I hate how angry I've become. I hate it. I'm sorry. What? Dan, you, 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 you don't apologize. I do now. I do. This is not what I wanted. I've always dreamed of you and I getting old together. Yes. Well, here we are. Fighting, talking to divorce lawyers. And Patrick and Cindy are there loving each other every day. And I said to myself that this is what I want. This is what I want. Or even better than that, I've not slept. All through last night, I didn't sleep, I didn't close my eyes because I was just thinking. I was just thinking about you and I. Everything we have been through together. All the love that we've shown each other. All the exciting moments. We have said so many terrible things to each other. We need to forgive each other right now and move on from it. I said, I don't want to go out there and start all over again with someone else. Even if I have to start all over again, it is with you. But we have to agree on so many things. Yes, we have to be intentional about each other. I'm coming. How's the traffic? It wasn't too bad. Uh, so, wait, just give me a minute. Yes, yes. Voila. Oh, shit. Yeah. Cindy, you've been gloomy all day. I'll be fine. Um, we need to, we need to work on the final, on the final report. We can do that later now. Let's celebrate a toast to a successful research. No? <sighs> Cindy, these past few weeks I've had to play your fiance because I couldn't want you to be hurt when you realize that your sister might be getting a divorce. I even involved Sammy and Julie to play my parents. 
just to remind Dan how he's always thought about growing old with Tracy. Patrick, I know all this. I set it up. But the point is, after all that hard work, we still failed. Dan has moved out, so the whole point of making them want each other by watching us is done. We no, failed. No, don't be like that now. Come on. Cindy, you tried your best. Do you know, it takes someone really smart to come up with the scenarios that you did. And in such short timing. Come on. Do you know, I really did not believe that it was going to be possible, but we did it. Yo, on the day of that engagement, I was panicking, I was freaking out, because I felt like they could tell that it was all being faked. I'm sorry. I should be thanking you right now. I mean, you were crazy enough to buy my idea and even managed to convince Sam and Julie to come on board. So thank you. Well, we all know how much you love your sister and her husband. And I really couldn't watch you be hurting the way you were hurting. I haven't seen anyone love my sister like Dan. I've seen her date from a couple of guys, but no one come close. Cindy, it's okay. It's okay. There's nothing you can do about it now. It's done and we've tried our best. I really did not think that this whole thing would be possible, but we did it. We even overdid ourselves. Come on, you should take some pride in that. Oh, that must be Sammy. We were talking earlier about stuff and he asked how far. Truly. Let me put it on the speaker. Okay. So we can hear each other. Hello, Sammy, how far? I did. What's up? I did. What's in there now? Hello, babe. Julie, you're on speaker. Oh, okay. Yes, I'm you to you on speaker. So we can all hear each other. Yeah, on idea. That um, short lease that the office rented. So how far now? How far with our drama? It did not work. What? After all the acting, what I do? Do you know what it means to act as Patrick's father? Huh. It's also tough to play Patrick's mother. Yeah, you did mad. You did mad. Guy, yeah, babe, get out. Let me know how Cindy is doing. Babe, how far? Um, I'm fine. She's not. Babe, there is nothing you can do. You know that we all agreed to do this whole fake engagement, fake parent uh, thing because of how you talked about your sister and her husband at the office. We know you love them and you hate divorce, but you can't control these things. Cindy, you know you have to be an outstanding person to put in this kind of work to remind your sister and her husband how much they love each other. See, you have done well. Patrick, you too. You guys have to be too smart to do this undetected. No, man. Cindy's been the brain behind everything. It was all her idea. Yo, the way this girl comes up with these ideas, I don't understand. Like, can you imagine she would call me every night, you know, update me on what to do and the effect that it should have on them. Even that day after the, uh, the after dinner quarrel that we had, yo, this girl, she did bust my brain with all these ideas, man. But Cindy now ultra smart babe now yeah absolutely man most intelligent okay you guys realize i'm i'm still here right but it's not a lie why do you think Oga chose you to head this market research patrick was only sent there as a bodyguard yeah you did mad you did mad you did mad times two <laughs> i'm not lying now so cindy i hope you are falling in love with patrick as he has fallen in love with you guy huh? hey julie off your mic i told you that in confidence huh? don't my phone Jerry. oh my god i'm sorry bye bye i'm sorry i'm sorry uh guys i'll go now and call it a bye something in me 
Yeah, I know. I'm the one who everyone thinks is weird in the office. The one who never talks about being with anyone. But working closely with you these past few weeks has ignited something in me and it's been magical. For real. Patrick, I suggested this whole fake engagement thing because I know you're a very adventurous guy. Not because I was going for a relationship. I know. I know. I wasn't going for a relationship either. But Cindy, you're, you're smart. You're gorgeous, you're family oriented, you're, 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 you're genuine, you're, you're kind, you're thoughtful, you're selfless. Ah, what do we mean now? See, wife material, 5,000 yards. Please, I'd like to go out with you. Let's, let's get to know each other better. Let's just explore things and see where it leads, please. You know? There were times when I would just wish that this whole thing was real. And um, that was when I told Sammy about it. I don't know how I feel right now. I am. Uh, I know you're sad right now, but do you want to make me think about it? Please. For real. Okay. I think I'll go now. We'll work on the project tomorrow. Oh. The report tomorrow. Okay. All right, take care. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll talk things through like everything. We'll spend time together. Lots of time. And do everything together. Yes. <laughs> That's fine. And I want you to respect me. Correct me when I'm wrong. Or don't make me feel insulted. Fine. I'll correct you in private. Mm -hmm. But you have to do the same as well. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I know you will not say this. So I'll help you slip it. I've decided not to take advice from my mother, especially about us and marriage. God, her views are just way different. Thank God. Thank you for helping me say it. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes, and always mm. listen to Cindy. Yeah. You know what, babe? You know it's crazy. Like, she's younger, but she's full of wisdom. Mm. And she thinks like my dad. Yes, she does. <laughs> Some sugar, babe. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> Because my wife and I are no longer having a divorce. What? Yes, we're back together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so happy. <laughs> um, all thanks to you and Patrick. You know, you guys reminded us what it feels like to be in love again. Hmm. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> <laughs>
Send the offer. They are back together. What? They are. I just walked in and they confirmed that they are no longer getting a divorce. Wait, are you for real? I am telling you. Are you crying? Yes. Oh. Gosh, you're so perfect. <laughs> See, man, you're going to have to get married to me, I'm telling you. You're, you're getting married to me. Stop. What? Is it that you don't like me at all or what? I don't get. Okay, I like you a lot. I know I don't show it. Hey, I can show it for both of us now. <laughs> okay, let's talk about this tomorrow. Um, my sister wants you over for lunch. No kidding. No kidding. They can't know anything about what we did, can they? Never. All right then. I'll make sure they have no reason to suspect anything at all. <laughs> okay, what do you mean? Cindy, I'm in love with you. And you're the woman for me. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Hello, sugar. <laughs> oh. Okay. I love you, baby. What's your food? Hey, baby. Hey. How are you? <laughs> Hi. Hi. Patrick, how you doing, man? Good, Good to see you. Good to see you as well. <laughs> Hi, Tracy. <laughs> hey, Patrick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> This one is better than the previous one. This is the real one, the Omunge one. <laughs> wow. Babe, I want you. I want all of you. I'm serious. I'm falling madly in love with you. And I can't just help myself. Cindy, I want you to marry me. We're going to be intentional. And we'll enjoy our lives together, I promise you. Please just say yes. <laughs> so what do I do with this one I'm already wearing? Just remove it. I don't know. <laughs> remove it. Okay. Uh, it's good, right? <laughs> hey. <laughs> yes, I'll marry you, Patrick. <laughs>
Maybe let me join you, okay? Let me join you, okay? Uh, I'll be back shortly. Okay. Ah. Okay. Wow, did he just come happy? Yes, I'm so happy. Man, it feels so good seeing this dude look so good like this, and I wonder. Wow. And my ring is really pretty. You like it, yeah? Mm -hmm. You like it. Hi. Here you go. Yes. So, bon appétit, everyone. Bon appétit. So, guys, I want to make an announcement. Okay, okay. okay. Um, today, God will really get you a phone. Ah! <laughs> I don't want this guy to win. So, it's a competition now. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Well, may the best man win. <laughs> oh, that's it. <laughs> hey, guys. Sometimes you cross the huddle, all the times you won't, but you keep on pushing. 